Hey, what is up guys? Eric Thane here from Cinema Mastery and welcome to today's video. Today we're going to be talking about how to make a videography demo reel in 2021. Let's do it. Alright, so as a filmmaker, as a videographer, if you are trying to get clients for your work and trying to get paid and grow your business as a filmmaker, your demo reel, I've always said, is one of the most valuable pieces of marketing that you have available to you. Now, there's a lot of things you can do as a filmmaker to market your work and to get clients, but your demo reel ultimately is what clients are going to look at to determine if they can trust you to be able to do the job that they want you to do for them. It's not the only thing that you can use to market your business, but it is a very valuable, very important thing. Now, when I say demo reel, I might be talking about specifically like a reel where you kind of take a bunch of shots from your work and you put it together into like a few minute long, uh, you know, reel. <laughs> Or, you know, this could also just mean your website in general. So sometimes people have websites that just kind of showcase some of their work. Regardless, either way, both can work. I don't think one way or the other has to be uh, the norm. You can kind of do it whichever way you like to and whichever way works for you. So with that being said, here are five tips for your demo reel to make it as powerful and as impactful as possible so that you can get as many clients as possible from your work. Tip number one is to make it easy to find your work. One of the biggest mistakes I see filmmakers doing is that they have these websites where it's like so hard to actually find the work that you do so that I can watch it. So they'll send me a link to their website. I go to the website. The front page has like tons of text on it and tons of stuff about them and what they do and everything. And then I'm clicking around and I I can't find their portfolio. Sometimes there's, you know, there's a link at the top of the page on the top right where it's like our work or something like that, which is like, okay, if it's, if it's like that, but like sometimes I can't even find the link. So make sure that wherever, however you build your website, however you build out your demo reel, make it really easy to find that work front and center and just make it so that clients don't have to dig through your website. Ultimately, when a client visits your website to learn more about you and your work, they're trying to get that information as fast as possible. They don't wanna spend uh, minutes, honestly, working through your website trying to figure out what they're looking at and trying to find the things that they want. Just give it to them front and center so that they can find what they're looking for immediately and they can check out your work. Number two, put your best work first. So if you're creating a demo reel, which is like kind of a collection of all your clips and stuff, make sure that your very best clips are at the beginning of that reel. The reality is when somebody is watching your demo reel, most people are not going to make it all the way through to the end. And so if they're only gonna watch a little chunk of it, you wanna make sure that your absolute best stuff is at the beginning. Now, in terms of your website, if you have it set up as just videos on a website, again, the same principle applies. You wanna make sure you put your absolutely best videos at the beginning of your website, at the top left of the website so that people will watch those videos first. And then anything that is like, you know, maybe a little bit less good or not like your very best quality work, um, you can put a little bit down lower because again, the likelihood uh, is that your client is probably only going to watch one video or maybe two videos and you want to make sure that they get a good first impression. That first impression is everything. Even if they watch a bunch of your work, the very first impression is going to be the judgment that they make of you and your ability to deliver for them right out the gate. Number three, website design matters. Now, I know this is something that people tend to gloss over sometimes and I I wouldn't recommend it. I've had filmmakers that have sent me portfolios and they're still on like a, you know, subdomain on wix.com or squarespace.com and they don't even have a custom domain. You can tell that it was just kind of thrown together or that they don't have any skills in graphic design and honestly, it just looks unprofessional. If you're trying to get clients to pay you high prices for your work and get premium clients who are going to take care of you and are going to work really well with you, you've got to show off a professional side of your business. You've got to show that you care and that you are somebody who has attention to detail and makes things look nice. Now, I'm not saying that you have to go out and hire somebody to build your website. There's so many website builders out there like Wix and Squarespace that make it so easy to build a good looking website 
by yourself. So you don't have to go hire somebody, but at least take the time to, number one, get a custom domain so that you look professional, you have a name of your company, and it looks like you have a legitimate website for your company. And number two, pick a good template or use Squarespace or Wix to design a nice looking site, which is going to reflect on your brand and your client's perception of you. Number four, show off what you want to be hired for and nothing else. This is something that a lot of filmmakers have a hard time with because as a filmmaker starting out, you typically do a lot of different types of videos. Maybe you've done some real estate videos and some wedding videos and some promos and some commercials. So you've got a lot of different styles of video. Maybe they're all really good, but you want to show off your work, right? You want to show off everything that you've done. But this is honestly one of the biggest mistakes that you can make because if you've got a website that has too many different things on it, it's gonna make it hard for your client to know exactly what you do or what you're really focused on. And if they don't know what you're focused on, they're gonna be confused about whether you can deliver that product for them. The other thing that I see happening is that a lot of filmmakers will have a portfolio of all wedding videos or all real estate videos, and then they'll go out and they'll try to get commercial clients. And that causes a problem as well because when your clients look at your portfolio, what they're looking for is assurance, certainty, that if they hire you, they will be able to get a quality result. And that's the whole point of your portfolio and your demo reel, is to give your clients that confidence that if they hire you, you will do an amazing job. And the way that they get that confidence is by seeing a consistent track record of quality work. And so when they see that consistent track record of the exact same thing done really well every single time, it gives them that confidence that like, well, if you were able to do it this many times this well, then you should be able to do it again for us. So, so much of getting clients is about knowing what you want to get and then go create work. Even if you're not getting clients that are paying you to create the type of work that you wanna do, you can do passion projects. You can create work to fill up your portfolio or your demo reel with the type of work that you want to be hired for so that way you're attracting in the right people. And number five is keep the quality consistent. Now, I kind of talked about this in the last point a little bit, but this is extremely, extremely important. Um, I mentioned earlier that you want to put your best work at the top of your portfolio, make sure that it's the stuff that people are going to see. And when you're starting out and you don't have a lot of high quality work, this is especially true. But once you get into it, and as quickly as you possibly can, you want to make sure that your portfolio is filled with only your very best work. Because when it comes down to it, when a client is looking at your portfolio, they are going to judge you on your worst work, okay? Every piece of work that doesn't look as good as the first one that they watched is gonna give them a different perception of you and is going to change that perception and that confidence, like we talked about, of whether you're going to be able to do it. And a lot of people think that they have to have like tons of videos in their portfolio or lots of really high quality work. And I've found that I've had people and filmmakers that I've worked with that have been able to get really high paying clients just having one video in their portfolio. So even if you only have one video that's really good, just showing off that one video is actually better than having like 10 hit or miss videos. Because ultimately, whatever the client sees, whatever they watch, is what's gonna create their perception of you. It's how they're going to judge you and know whether you're somebody that they want to work with. So make sure that you keep the quality consistent so that a client can come to your portfolio or watch your reel and they can see consistent shot after consistent shot quality over and over and over again. And again, that's gonna give them the confidence that you have a good track record. You're gonna be able to produce what you've already done so many times over again for them and they'll be able to get a quality result from you as a filmmaker. All right, so there's my five tips for creating your videography demo reel in 2021. Now, if you're a filmmaker who wants to grow your business and get clients, and not just get clients, but create really high quality artistic cinematic work that you can use to land clients for 10, 20, $30,000 plus, per video, then I wanna invite you to check out my free one hour filmmaking training. It's down in the description below. It's a one hour training where I go through my entire process and my philosophy in how I used cinematic looking videos and commercials to start getting high paying clients and grow my business to over six figures a year. So if you're a filmmaker that wants to learn how to do that, wants to create cinematic videos and wants to get high paying clients, I highly recommend checking out that free training. 
you're gonna love it. In the free training, I share all of my best tips for how to make your videos look cinematic and how to get clients as a filmmaker. So if you have any questions about this video or anything else, feel free to comment them down below and I will take a look and we'll see you on the next one.